So today I'm replacing the clutch cable, clutch plates, and my front brake lever because when I dropped it, I broke the little ball off the end and it kind of bothers me. Um, so I'll show you how to do this. It's fairly simple. You just want to take off the clutch lever first, take out the cable. It's self-explanatory. And then we'll have to take this whole side cover off. So I'll get the lever off first and then I'll come to this. up here and then there's two bolts down here as well also 10 millimeter and you have to take the shift pedal off as well Once you got it off, take out the old clutch cable, just right in here. After a couple minutes of struggling, I got the cotter print out, which is right behind the cable. So now once you get that out, pull back the spring, push the cable towards the back of the casing, and then you lift it out. Woo. 10 minutes later, finally got this damn thing out. God damn. Be prepared, it takes longer than you'd expect. So, keep the spring, you have to reuse this. Um, and then just take the clutch cable off and make sure it's the same as the one you ordered. As you can see, same exact size, has everything it needs, so go ahead and throw that back on the same way you took it out. Once you weave this back through, so there it goes, that's in. Spring is on. Now hook it back up the same way. There you go. And then put your cotter pin back in because otherwise the clutch cable can pop out. And obviously, you do not want that. Put the face back on. you have the gasket all right that's done make sure you 
adjust the clutch once you the clutch cable once you put it on. This guy will have to come off. Tightens the clutch. Ooh. Feels good. Once that is good, we'll go ahead tighten this bolt down to keep it in place. Throw the cover back on. And of course, once you put everything back on, you're going to want to put the foot peg and your shifter back on. And considering my bars are so low, I want this to be angled down a bit more. So I'm going to keep this loose until I get on the bike to fit it how I need it. But I'll make sure to put this back on while I'm here. Now that I did the clutch cable, I'm going to have to do the clutch plates themselves. I have some EBC brakes clutch plate set. These are just the fiber plates. Just these guys. So we're gonna have to take off this cover here, take off the brake, foot peg, and then I bought a tray because oil will come out of here. So let's get to it. Now you just have to take off these 10 bolts around this casing here. And it is a number three Phillips head screwdriver, so make sure you use the right one. Last time I tried taking this off, I couldn't just pull it off, so in this case I got myself a rubber mallet and uh, just give it a few taps. I'm putting these two bolts back in on top so it doesn't completely fall off. Oh, it's coming. Got it. Took a little more effort than I expected, but as long as it's off. Yep, there it goes. All right, and now there's five bolts here. Want to take off this gasket? Ended up breaking on me, um, so I'll have to get another one. And you also want to soak your clutches. Take your new clutch plate. Put it on in. Then the spacer. So those are on. Put this covered springs and the bolts. Recommend snugging this down a tiny bit. cover back on and I'd say I'm going to drain the rest of the oil and put in a new oil filter as well. You also want a new gasket but uh, that's pretty much it. Just putting everything back on and draining the oil and then I could give it a ride.